their decorations and pick out their Christmas trees. Our John Keller is joining one local police department in reminding everyone to put safety first. Good morning. You know the old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, that cliche has never been more true than in the case of this picture, taken by Sudbury police of a car they stopped on Route 20 with a family inside transporting their Christmas tree home. The cops say that in the, quote, spirit of the season, they just helped secure the tree more safely and sent these people on their way with just a warning. But in this picture, I see a warning for all of us about damaging behavioral trends in our culture. Start with the willingness of the people who drove off with such impaired visibility to risk not just their lives, but those of everyone else on the road. There's a recklessness displayed there that we also see in the moguls who rush new technologies onto the market with little or no thought about the damage they can do to privacy, safety, and democracy. And what about the tree sellers who let these folks drive away with their windows blocked? Don't most places tie up the tree to avoid this kind of hazard? Back to the buyers. What were they thinking when they bought a tree far too big for them to transport safely? Did it dawn on them that a more modest tree might do? If not, they're in line with the cultural obsession with wasteful hugeness, like the unnecessary resource-hogging McMansions you see sprouting up everywhere. And a final thought. The cops posted the picture on social media because they hoped it would serve as a deterrent to others. But in a culture where the art of persuasion has been replaced by shouting, who really believes anyone will pay heed? Yep, this picture is worth a thousand words, all right. All of them bad. Talk back to me via email at keller at wbctv.com or use Twitter at Keller at Large.